So I'm going to say it for the first time in my life properly. Nick. So today we're going to be talking about possibly the funniest cancellation I've ever seen. Now if you've ever scrolled on TikTok or YouTube shorts, I'm sure you've seen this Master Ugwe guy. I think he originally blew up with videos like these. If she likes seafood, don't instantly take her out to dinner and be a shrimp. Instead, show her your shrimp. You know, he's not the funniest guy in the world, but I've laughed at a couple of his shorts before. But today we're going to be talking about him getting cancelled for a song that he dropped that actually got him temporarily banned from YouTube. So I have it up on screen and... <laughs> I think you guys can read the title. A very interesting name for a song. You know, I love a good racist joke every now and then, but this song is bordering on middle school kid band humor. Like, it's just really not that funny. Kung Fu Panda. Uh, Adolf Hitler is my nigga. It's a 12-year-old's definition of funny, edgy, dark humor. Like, who gas bro up to drop this? Genuine question. Like, he sat there after recording a whole song where he just openly says the N-word and decides, you know what, I'ma post this to my 7 million subscriber channel. This actually isn't even the first video where Master Ugwe says the N-word. He has another video from three weeks ago where, I don't really know if it's a joke, but he explains in the video how his ancestors were slaves, and that means that he can say the N-word I'm just gonna show you guys the clip. What's up, YouTube? Today I spoke to my parents and they told me a story. They told me a story about my grandparents. Turns out, my great, 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 great grandparents were slaves during the Ottoman Empire. Now, I've been wondering what makes a person get the permission to say the N word. Because I hear Mexican people say the N word and I hear black people say the N word and many other races as well. They say it and they claim that they can say it because they have a history of slavery. So technically, since my grand, great, 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 great grandparents are slaves, I am allowed to say it as well. So I'm going to say it for the first time in my life properly. Guys, I'm never going to say this word in an offensive way. I will only use it for comedic value since I'm allowed to say it now. Yeah, bro, you really cooked up some comedy with this song over here. Every single band kid within a 20 mile radius is currently blasting this on their speaker on their way to school, probably shouting the lyrics at the top of their lungs because they think it's edgy. But yeah, here's the thing though, you're a grown ass man with a beard. I think at that point, your humor should start like evolving a little bit from the middle schooler phase. I don't know if he's just trying to like please his core audience. Yeah, safe to say that people weren't really too happy with this song and Matt Master Ugwe, so Master Ugwe decided to actually respond on Twitter to this whole thing with a whole series of tweets, so I'm gonna read some of them out, and I want you guys to give your opinions on them in the comments down below, cause it's definitely pretty interesting. I am an actor. I act in all my videos, just like how Leonardo DiCaprio played the racist slave trader in Django Unchained, I play the character of Edgy Ugwe. Just because we play these characters doesn't mean we are actually like them. If this man was forgiven, I can be forgiven too. I shall be forever remembered as the man who got bombarded by cancel culture and stood his fucking ground. Wait a minute, then what's this tweet right here? I don't know man, it looks more like you're apologizing than standing your ground, but okay, we'll let that one slide. He then tries to compare the whole situation with him being cancelled for this song, with PewDiePie being cancelled back in 2017 for accidentally saying the n-word on a stream. If this man was forgiven, I can be forgiven too. I will say that trying to compare are you making a whole song about Adolf Hitler where you say the n-word numerous times for comedic purposes is a little bit different than accidentally slipping up and saying the n-word on a stream. Now Master Ugwe is friends with another creator called Man Like Isaac. They've collabed a bunch together and they seem like pretty good friends and he actually made a response to this whole situation talking about it where he said that he heard the song a couple weeks before it came out and he told him it wasn't a good idea to drop it but he did it anyway. Hey guys, it's Man Like Isaac. I had to even leave my house for this one. I had to go outside and get some fresh air because I've been getting tens of thousands of messages saying, guy, like, Isaac, you need to sort out Ugwe. You need to tell him to stop. And I was like, what happened? What happened? And then I listened to his song and I see what you guys meant. I, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I, I heard this song like two, three weeks ago before it came out. He sent it to me. 
and I personally told him, bro, I don't think you should release it. But then again, you guys know how he is. He doesn't give a shit. So I, I tried to prevent it from happening. Clearly it didn't work. My opinion on it, because I know him as a person, I know that like, he's not actually racist. He just does stuff that he finds funny. Just like how I do stuff that I find funny. Clearly his is a bit, <laughs> He's, he's a bit crazy he's a, uh, than, than the average person. Master Uguay dropped his own response to the whole thing, where he addresses the whole racism thing as well as like a lot of other allegations, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't really give a shit about. I'm just gonna show you guys him responding to the whole racism thing. People are criticizing me about is my racist jokes. Yes, I make dark humor jokes that I think is funny. I love to do them because I think they're funny. And since I'm getting a lot of views, a lot of people think they're funny as well. Now. In no way am I racist myself. I don't dislike any race. I don't hate any race. I love all of them. Just because I'm making messed up jokes doesn't mean I'm racist myself. I even make fun of my own culture. Now, 90% of these jokes, I don't say anything racist or anything really bad directly. I make you think it. So am I the person with the problem? Or are you, if you're the person who thinks? So bro is just straight up trying to gaslight other people into thinking that they're racist. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm a little bit confused because in your tweets, you're clearly apologizing, but now in your video, you're shifting the blame onto the audience and trying to gaslight them into thinking that they're racist because they're mad about this song that you draw. Now, I personally don't think that Master Uguay is actually racist. He just makes those jokes because he thinks it's fun and because his audience likes it. You know, to a certain extent, racism is definitely funny. I mean, whenever I see my Asian friend coming up, I'm like, so sorry, no lo mean tonight. I mean, it's just funny, it's banter, but I think the problem comes when you're making those jokes publicly because I feel like racist jokes, once you start getting into that territory, I mean, you're free to say whatever you want, but people are also free to react to that however they want, and they have every right to be upset for you making a song where you as someone who isn't black makes a song saying this bullshit. Uh, Adolf Hitler is my I think the only thing that this guy is really guilty of is just being unfunny. I mean, some of his shorts, you might watch them, you might crack a smile, but a lot of his content is either just recycled garbage. Stolen memes. Or just really unfunny, edgy humor. Going for a mute girl is the best technique because she can't tell the cops if she cannot speak. That's what this man is most guilty of. Forget about the whole racism thing. This guy is just straight up unfunny. But don't let the 12 year olds catch me saying that because according to them, this guy is probably the greatest comedian of all time. Nobody can stop me. Uh. My bitch calls, she say coo -coo -ca -ca. I mean, did you see that? That's just pure comedy, man. When I saw that clip, I was laughing so uncontrollably that I thought I was gonna have a seizure, man. That shit is just way too funny. But yeah, as for the whole racism thing, I think you guys know what my stance on that whole situation is. I personally don't think it's that big of a deal, but at the same time, I can kind of see why some people are a little bit offended by this or why they would want this man canceled. The most offensive thing about it to me is just how unfunny it is. But yeah, make sure you follow my Instagram right now. If not, then I'm gonna say something much more racist than this man could ever possibly think of, so I would advise against that. Go ahead and follow the Instagram. Get me to 1,000 followers. We're back on the grind. Daily videos until the end of the year. Oh, I also have another channel that I've been secretly growing over the past couple of weeks. Be sure to subscribe to that too. And yeah, a lot of new shit coming this summer. I'm pretty excited. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.